Hi, come see how I made this beautiful cake. First, I used my measuring tape to measure the height and the length of my crumb coated cake. Next, I took my corn flour, dusted my surface, then got my kneaded fondant and used my rolling pin to begin to roll it to get to the length and the height that I measured earlier. This, is, this helps to avoid excess fondant and overrolling it, thereby giving you a thin layer of fondant which will break or which might break when you are draping it around the cake. So at this point, I've gotten to my required measurements. Next, I bring it out and because my pumpota cake is too moist, I just drape it around the cake and use my two smoothers to press the fondant at the meeting point. So at this point, I also use one of the smoother to smooth around it, push some of the fondant up, and also the excess protruding fondant that came as a result of merging the two sides together. I used a sharp object, a knife, to um, cut it off and smoothen the place with a smoother. Now to the top of the fondant, I rolled out uh, the fondant and also measured it and cut it out. Now I'm sorry I started redoing and I left out some part of this video. But what I do is you join the two parts together. I didn't do the up, upturning method. Now when you join them together, you use one of the smoother as a su support and the other one to gently push against that one. This way you do it round until all the sides are merged together and it also gives you a sharp edge. Now I went forward to do the marble fondant. Uh, you just get different colors or the color you want in different shades, darker and lighter shades and you have what you see here. I'm going to make a new video on the diff two different ways I use in achieving my marbled um, fondant and I know you'll be interested so just look forward to it that is going to be my next video now I'm rolling out the fondant at this time why you see I apply a lot of corn flour is I've had the challenge of the fondant sticking to my surface and oh man it wasn't something very funny it wasn't funny at all so that is why you say apply lots then later you can dust it off now what i'm doing next is um using my brush to apply light water lightly on the body of the first fondant that i dripped and then measure out my marble fondant pick the fondant and then drip it round. I didn't want it to cover it, it was just like a kind of a pattern just to add more um, color and finesse or fineness <laughs> to the cake, to the decoration. So here I'm trying to sort it out, I'm trying to um, bring it out. I actually wanted to make this pattern you're seeing but along the line, something, another idea just popped in. The client did not actually give me a specific um, pattern to do, just something beautiful. So I decided to let me just do something else. Now you see at this point, I've smoothened my bamboo fondant to the other one, to the main fondant. Then I'm cutting out the, the other part of the fondant. I was, trying, I was looking forward to a rough, a kind of ruggedness. The, the client is a male, so I needed something like a little bit rough. So that is what you see I'm doing in the video. The essence of the water in between the, the two fondant is to ensure that it sticks properly. Then I also go around with the smoothing process. Now this is my gold leaf. 
um, you can use a gold dust with edible spirit to um, mark it round but I felt using gold leaf would be a kind of better in this case so I started working on it going round until I went round at first I was using my hand as you can see in the video it was later and I was going and I did just stop and I was like can't I even use the brush and I told you when I started using the brush it was even much more easier you see it subsequently as the video progresses now I want to use this opportunity to thank all my returning subscribers thank you so much it means a lot to me that you still come you still watch my videos whether it's fun or not and I'm really grateful for that I'm so thankful to you for taking out time to come back again for your support I am so 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 grateful and for my new subscribers thank you you're welcome to joyous kids and more um, where we learn more like from the scratch because I'm still developing myself in this um, in kicking thing so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel I was so amazed from 43 subscribers just I saw 53 like 10 whole subscribers oh my god thank you thank you thank you I promise you will not regret coming here now I also went ahead to mix a little gold dust and my edible spirit just to give a little highlight on the marble some of the marbles it wasn't much because I didn't want it to be too like um, like it should I say noisy or what so now you see those holes I actually forgot to put my straws to hold it in place so I later did this so in order to cover the place where I poked in those um, straws I used those balls those pearls rather to cover it up now why I need why I opted to show how I removed all this films is because oh, 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 it's only recently that I knew that there was a film a thin layer of film covering each of that um, that happy birthday topper so I just decided to add it in the video so when you see it you will know that in case you don't know that it, when you remove it it gives you a much more brighter shine and also I added some false balls for the effect I also added in happy birthday those chocolates in two different colors one had my love the other had love you forever so this is it Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.